Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Last time we uh, did uh, some uh, Thieves Guild questing and I think this time here we're going to do uh, some more of it because uh, I really want to build up my security skill. Now I, w I did go ahead and I spent a little bit of money to get some security training last time but that's not enough. We need more. I also noticed that we tend to be pretty encumbered, but that's probably because we went and loaded, loaded ourselves up with uh, a bunch of things. And we also got this Dweamer co uh, Corer. Coherer? Coherer. Uh, which was supposed to be used in this, uh, in this quest. I, I suppose we could just sell it. We don't really need it anymore How at this point. Do? So uh, why don't I go ahead and uh, will you buy it for me? Really? You'll have to get rid of that moon sugar. We're in Hail the Thieves Dunmer. Guild. Do you need something? That's funny. Uh, in, in case you're not familiar with uh, the uh, moon sugar, moon sugar is, uh, let's say it's a, a it's a an illegal substance here in Morrowind. There we go. Let's try this again. Um, we'll try to sell that. Uh, what's its value? It's valued at sixty. You know what? You can give me thirty-eight for that. Oh come on! You can't afford this transaction. You have no gold. Uh, okay, I guess that makes sense. You can't afford that. Um, well, I'll find a different person to sell this to. Um, because it's, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's what, 40, uh, 40 units. Um, so, you know, we'll get rid of that at some point, but, uh, I guess first we'll go ahead and grab a quest. Because I need some more questing Warm in my life. To you, friend. Thanks, Sugar Lips. How are you doing? What is it, Black Cap? Are you here looking for jobs, or are you ready for advancement? I'm probably ready for advancement, but let's go ahead and grab another job. A master of security lives here in Balmora. Abassi knows only that he is an Altmer. Perhaps he can uh, help secure the south wall. Now, if there's a master of security, I wonder if he'll, um, you know, he'll train me. That would be, that would be great. Uh, so what exactly do you want me to do? You want me to, it says my journal has been updated. So I'm going to check my journal and see. Sugar Lips Abassi has a job for me that involves the south wall and a master of security. Jobs. Do I have to, oh, I have to ask about the south wall. Okay. The master of security is an Altimer here in town. That is all Habassi knows. That doesn't help me. Okay, Sugarlips Abassi uh, told me that one of the masters of locks and traps has been living here in Balmora, but has not contacted the Thieves Guild. I should find this Altmer and convince him to help secure the South Wall. Alright, so we need to find an Altmer uh, who's a master security, and he lives here in Balmora. Gee, I, I, I don't know where I would, could possibly find uh, someone like that. Well, let's take a look at the, some of the houses. Actually, I, I, I have an idea of where he may be residing. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these, uh, these names and tell me... Yeah, you tell me uh, what name sounds like a an Altmer's name. Um, honestly, I, I why do I got this feeling that it's like next to uh, uh, to um, Case Crusade's place. I, I don't know. I, I I seem to have a memory of this. I'm not 100 percent sure. I I want to know if there's uh, maybe I can. Yes, no. Outlander. Actually, I, sh I shouldn't be able to ask about that to anyone because. Now, who's who's gonna be advertising? Is he, is he gonna be setting up shop? Is he gonna be like, hey, I'm uh, I'm a master of security. Come and inquire. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't make sense that I could go ahead and ask around, but um, this guy here. Let's see. Let, let, let's rather than just barging into this place and being like, oh, this place is locked. Maybe I'm wrong. That's the Eastern Guard Tower. Well, uh, lock level thirty. Oh, there's a guard right there. All right, let's let's break into the guy's place. Maybe we can find some evidence. I, I thought it was this place. Maybe it's a different place. But uh, so f what we'll do is we'll uh, go ahead and break into the place. Even if there's, even if that's not where our uh, our master is, uh, we can still, uh, you know, uh, we'll practice our security, which is the whole point of this entire, we'll say, little endeavor of ours, anyways. So uh, first things first, though, let's go ahead and use the thief ring to uh, boost some uh, attributes uh, and. Let's go ahead and use the blur ring to hopefully make it a little bit harder for people to spot us. Okay, lockpick failed. We're good though. Nobody's nobody knows we're trying to break into this place. Blur ring wore off, but that's okay because we're now in. Okay, there's nobody here. Maybe I, I hey maybe I was totally wrong. Cool. I'm okay with being totally wrong. Then again, I, I there was a, an upper door, wasn't there? And it was locked, and I don't see any stairs in here. So it's like we're in somebody's place. But oh, what have we got here? Gold. Well, there's nobody in here, right? There's no one invisible. I'm like, I'm, just, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm paranoid about picking up the gold because I'm like scared. Uh, you know, someone's going to be standing in the corner and we're going to like, hey, that's my gold you're stealing. 
You know, we've got so many common items. Honestly, I'm just going to leave that in the, the chest. We can come back and grab that at another time. I do notice here that this pillow is uh, a little bit off, though. No? No? Nothing? All right. Uh, I guess we'll we'll put the pillows back just so that uh, nobody suspects that we were in here. There we go. Just the way I found it. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, look through some other things here. We're pretty close to our encumbrance limit, but... Eh. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. What was that? Hackalo leaf. That's uh, restore fatigue. You know what? Let's grab those Hackalo leaves. Um, because I want to. Oh, I can also use Kwama eggs to restore fatigue. Hmm. I'll grab I'll grab that as well. I, I want to make some. Uh, I'll say uh, restore fatigue um, potions. So what I might do is because I do have. Uh, d did I drop? I think I dropped all of my. Uh, my fancy alchemy things in the Aldrun uh, Mages Guild. So I guess I will use some of my master alchemy uh, stuff back over at um, uh, Chaos Crusade's place uh, to go ahead and mix up some uh, some fatigue potions. All right, doesn't seem to be anything else really in here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, ooh, I could I could I could grab these ones. They're heavy though. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back later once I get rid of this this uh, Dreamer thing. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of the Dreamer thing right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run to at the pawn shop across the river. We'll m most certainly uh, buy that thing from uh, me. So I'll be right back. I'm going to run over there and sell that off camera. And then I'll be back and I'm going to continue, uh, we'll say, searching house house to house. You know, going house to house and trying to find um, perhaps someone uh, who's uh, an Altmer who happens to be a master of security and see if I can get them to help secure the south wall. Now, I just noticed something. I'm talking to the, the pawnbroker here. Um, uh, Dralasa Nith Nithirion? Nithirion. Uh, and I noticed the option here for Altmer. The only, only Altmer here in Balmora are uh, Kulumer at the Lucky Lockup, uh, Estir Dalin at the Guild of Mages, Imar uh, at the Halu Council Manor, and uh, Nalkaria the Alchemist. And, uh, what is it? Hesurna D, whatever, and uh, Tier Melon, who both have residences here. Okay, so maybe there is a way to ask around. Uh, you know, it's, it's not asking, hey, wh where's the uh, Masters of Security? It's asking, okay, uh, what Altmers live in town? Which I think is, m makes a lot more sense. Um, so we went, we went ahead and we did ask about that. And so we've got a couple leads we can uh, check uh, check in on. Now, if I recall correctly, yeah, the Altmer Altmers don't typically really use um, last names so much. So... Um, let me take a look at the, let me see, if we look back at the residential, uh, houses, let me see here, uh, that's Chaos Crusades, yeah, I think I was completely, uh, completely off, I think it's somewhere else, this one right here, let's try this house over, uh, over here, right, right across the river, uh, yeah, we'll run over there and, uh, check out that place, I'll be right back! All right, so we're across the river. Uh, we're right here, and this is uh, the, we'll say one of the Altmer's houses. I'm, I'm, I think this might be the right place. Hi, guy. How's it going? Let me see. Lock level twenty. Uh, I see no immediately. I see you. Immediate. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I see you. Darn it! He saw me. Um, I see no immediate uh, clues that, at him being a master of security. I, I would assume a master of security would have a much higher lock level on his chest, but let's ask anyways. So your name is Alexis, and you're new here in Balmora. Well, my name is Her- uh, Was it He- Hesurind? Hesurind. Whatever. And I don't mind answering questions. I'm gonna call you Hersey. Hey, Hersey. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. And I don't mind answering questions. I have nothing else on my mind right now, and if I start to bore you about Morwen lore, just let me know. Um, Altmer, I am one of the few here in Balmora. What can I do for you? Well, I don't know. Maybe uh, I, I'm 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 just looking for somebody to help um, secure the south wall. I must admit I've been negligent toward the guild. I will certainly help you secure the secure the south wall. Tell Sugarlips I that I am at her service. Oh, okay, awesome. Wait, so if if you're at her service, do you offer training? Yeah, there we go. You know what? I'm taking this as my prize because I'm gonna get some money from this anyway. So I might as well throw some money towards security. Bam! My security increased to 26. Thank you for your training, buddy. Uh, do you barter? You don't, you don't sell anything, do you? Hmm. Will you buy the, my Dreamer coins? If I if I had said, hey, yo, uh, I want to sell some Dreamer coins. Each one is, what, valued at 50? Because he's got quite a bit of money on him. 
No, he doesn't buy that item. Oh, well, I'll find someone else to, to buy that. Probably the, the pawnbroker will, will do that for me, but uh, I'm on the other side of town, so I won't bother uh, doing that right now. So let's go back and talk to uh, Habasi and inform her of uh, our, our new ally, our new, we'll say, friend of the guild. Sup, Habasi? Warmly greeted, friend. Welcome. It is important we defend the South Wall. Who is the master of security, Black Cap? Uh, Hersey is the master of security, and he will help us? This is good. Habasi thinks. It will not be long before the so Soaring, Hardheart, and the Kimonotong make another move against us. You have been of good service, Black Cap. If there is any gold on your head for crimes others believe you did, Habasi will have it fixed. Um, well, that would have been nice if I actually had a price on my head. No, I, okay, so... That's unfortunate. Uh, all right, well, I guess uh, uh, another job? Do you have any more jobs for me? Habasi has no jobs for you. Ask uh, Anne Goth, the jeweler in Eldrun. Darn it! Or Big Helende in Sadrith Mora. Hmm, who's Big Helende? Go to Sadrith Mora. You'll find Big Helende. Uh, Helende? Helende. Whatever. At Dirty Muriel's Corner Club. It's quite a place. You know what? Maybe we should go to Sadrith Mora. Admittedly, that's not a place I've spent a lot of time in Do you uh, want when I played Morrowind me? before. Aren't you a sight? So I'm kind of curious. It's, it's a new place for us to explore. It's a, a new place. Uh, I just realized I'm running around in the dark and s some people have incredibly dark monitors for whatever reason. I, I don't know why you would have such a thing that makes... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Some people are viewing on their phones too and the contrast and stuff. Sorry. I, I was generalizing there. But anyways, I'm going to light things up just a little bit. Acrobatics increased to 24. So we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and sell some things light and so, light some things up um, uh, I'm then I'm gonna run all the way back over to to uh, Chaos Crusades place I'm gonna do all this off-camera of course, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, make some uh, fatigue restoring uh, potions And then uh, I'm actually I think we're gonna head to Sedrith Mora just for a change of scenery just to tr check something new out Yeah, sounds like a good idea. I'll be back after I'm done my little errands. Mercantile skill increased to 15. Sweet, I got myself 500 uh, gold, and I still have just only one Dwemer coin on me. Um, sweet. I left my moon sugar at the pawnbroker's place. Darn it! Oh well. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that, uh, later. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, just to keep things simple, we're gonna drop my, uh, journeyman mortar and pestle. Pestle. And we're gonna grab our, uh, master's, uh, alchemy equipment here. Master's retort, master's, uh, amblick. And all that stuff, and wow, I'm not over encumbered carrying that stuff. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create some fatigue potions. Now you'll see, since we're using the full set and we're using, um, you know, master's uh, quality, uh, we're gonna be able to create some very, uh, I'll say some much better potions than I've been able to uh, before. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see, hack a low leaf, five of five of those, uh, and I need to find a uh, large quama egg. There we go. That's uh, oh, it'll also paralyze me. Mmm, we don't want that, so maybe I'll just eat that uh, on my own. Uh, not marshmallow, it was uh, the salt rice. There we go, wow. Awesome. So let's see what, what kind of potions we create with this. Failed, failed, failed. We created one successful potion, great. And another one failed. So we only created one, but uh, if we go ahead and take a look at the, the potions here, when we find when we find it, restore 14 points for 35 seconds, and look at the weight. When you compare that to uh, maybe this other one we created, nine points for 26 seconds, you you can definitely see the difference in quality. It's much lighter. Um, it restores a lot more for much longer. Uh, so that that's you know that that's that's admittedly very good. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can create some um, other potions. Uh, I'll I'll cut back in you know if uh, if there is anything because uh, the the system is a little bit uh, it can be a little bit difficult because what you want to do is you're looking through the list and you're looking for uh, attributes. Uh, now, like, I, I, the reason why I didn't want to use, we'll say, the large Kwama egg, because it also, in addition to restoring fatigue, it also paralyzed me, and that kind of defeats the whole purpose. You know, if I'm trying to, uh, you know, increase my fatigue so that I can jump into combat, I don't want to be paralyzed at the same time. And it doesn't look like I really have anything that will help restore fatigue. Um, so, what I can do, though, is I did notice that at the very bottom here, uh, what was it, Wickwheat, I believe it was, it says restore health. So I'll click on Wickweed, and if I recall correctly, Ash Yams also- Oh, that's not, um, no, Marshmallow. Uh, no, not, not Marshmallow. Yes, Marshmallow also, re uh, does restore health. So we have two of those. So there's a chance I can go ahead and create a restore health potion. Let's try that. And I failed. 
All right. Well, I'll, I'll look through my list of of uh, things and see if I can create another health. Uh, and if not, then well, I'll be back in a bit. All right. And nothing was found. However, the salt. Uh, I've got a lot of salt rice. So basically, if I find any Nyx hounds or anything like that, I'll be able to go ahead and uh, you know boost up. I'll be able to create a bunch of uh, restore fatigue potions. All right. What I'm gonna do. Uh, because let's see what time is it. It is 1 a.m. We're gonna actually rest until morning, and then uh, come morning we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, with our day. I'll say six hours. That'll bring us up to what uh, 7 a.m. Yeah, and we've got. Uh, I think it's. I think that makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Nice fresh day, beautiful day, and we're gonna go ahead and try to find our way to Sadrith Mora, which I can't remember how to get to. Uh, Gnarmok. Where is uh, Sedrith Mora? It, actually, isn't that down here by Vivek? Uh, I think it's actually over in this region here, if I if I remember correctly. So this is going to be quite the, the trek. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where Sedrith Mora is. What I'm going to do, actually, give me a second. I have a physical map uh, that uh, that you know came with the game, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just sort of consult that really quick. And, uh, because it has all the locations on there. And I came with the game, so I don't feel like I'm cheating. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'll go ahead and I'll put, maybe I'll edit it in a little bit of a, an image onto the screen so that you can uh, kind of see where, where I was looking at. Uh, but I was actually totally way off. Sadrith Mora, I, I, I got, uh, I got mixed up with, I believe, Malagmar, something like that. Sadrith Mora is over on the, way over on the east coast, uh, on those, uh, this group of islands. Which means it's gonna be a huge trek just to get over there. So, you know, you know it, it might be natural for me to say, you know, what, I'm gonna cha I change my mind. We're not gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, but no, no, we're gonna do it. We are gonna head. We're gonna head over there. Um, it's gonna be a one long trek. We're gonna stop at some dungeons along the way, and uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and uh, travel across the map, uh, stopping at maybe some towns along the way. Maybe, uh, well, maybe we'll stop in Seren, and uh, we'll head over to Sedrith Mora. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna begin a long trek today. We're gonna we're gonna journey our way to Sadrith Mora. Just to, like I said, to, to travel the, to travel the land a little bit, uh, see things, and uh, you know come across some uh, some new places to explore. Um, and I will eventually get to the uh, the main quest of the game. I think what I'll probably do, um, actually, I think level ten I'll probably be a little bit too powerful uh, to be well, maybe not too powerful to be starting, but. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be sufficiently strong that uh, the uh, the main quest will it'll be a lot easier. Uh, I I don't necessarily want easy, and you know that's evidenced by the fact that I even boosted up the difficulty when I first started the game. Um, what I th yeah, but yeah, I think I think we'll be st after this little uh, trek. After we've uh, gone ahead, we've uh, traversed across the land. We've gone to. Uh, you know, some new new towns. We've tried to break into things. Maybe we've uh, played around with security, uh, stuff like that. Then maybe we'll go ahead and uh, start the main quest. Uh, don't worry, I'm still going to be jumping over into the other uh, the other uh, guilds and stuff like that. House Lalu, uh, Mages Guild, stuff like that. But I want to I want to have a nice variety of stuff, right? I, I don't want to just be do stuck doing the same thing. Uh, all the time, so you know that's kind of what uh, I, I feel like this playthrough is going to be. It's going to be kind of like me. It's going to be ADD. It's going to be all over the place. Uh, and that, that way, there we can get sort of a, a nice variety. Now, uh, you guys have seen this path several times. Although uh, I gotta say, I, I love the. I, I'm a sucker for the, those lighting effects. Um, there we go. Acrobatics increased to 25. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to travel up to uh, uh, Plagiad. Pelagiad. We'll just call it whatever. Uh, and then from there, uh, then I'll cut back in uh, because you guys have seen this path already So I'll be back in uh, just a moment guys Your athletic skill increased to 22 All right, we're already at the first fork in the road uh, <laughs> uh, pl Plagiat or plug guide whatever is down that way uh, But I noticed there was a Nyx hound up there So I was gonna go ahead and kill it to get some hound meat so I could go ahead and make some uh, some more f uh, fatigue potions uh, But then I also realized that I hadn't uh, explored up this way uh, before so I figured Oh, you know what? Why not? Let's go ahead and uh, poke around over in this direction. Uh, you know, who knows what we'll uh, what we will come across. Uh, dang, this looks like it looks like we're getting close to some Dweamer runes. And if I recall correctly, though, these Dweamer runes are related to the main quest. So if there's a passage uh, to them uh, from here, I'm likely going to just uh, ignore it. Uh, we will not be going into those runes until I'm ready to uh, to tackle uh, the main quest. Uh, let's get our blur ring going so that we can uh, sneak up behind this guy. Okay, he knows we're. Oh no, he he, he knew we were there, but then he uh, he was like, no, no, I was just something in my eye. 
So let's go ahead and drop a... Where is it? Soul Trap Amulet. We're going to go ahead and Soul Trap him. And then we're going to go ahead and break out the, the Demon Tanto. It seems like everything that we... Uh, if, if we've got that blur ring on, everything runs from us. No, come back. Come back. Okay, yes. Come back. Quick. My Soul Trap will not last forever. We've trapped a soul. And we've got some hound meat. Yes. So we'll dispose of the corpse. And uh, we'll quickly uh, throw together a, uh, a quick... Uh, quick potion, hopefully. Nope, guess not. All right, our journey continues. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's go see where this does lead us. Oh, I think we're being attacked by a cliff racer. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Uh, we'll just blast this thing out of the sky. Are my, are my hands out? Yes. There we go. That should do it. I was getting a little worried there. I was like, I, I basically used the entire amulet just to take out one cliff racer, which appears to have fallen into the rock. Um, and I'm stepping through the rock, so that's kind of cool, I guess. I can't get to the item. I don't really care enough to really try to fiddle around with it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, continue running. We're going to continue heading in this direction, and we're going to be, uh, of course, we're going to be beset by uh, cliff racers. I'm just going to keep running until they decide to, uh, to all attack me. Uh, and then... Yeah. There we go. They're, they're, they're behind me. Uh, one thing I love about the, the cliff races is when they're, when they're coming after you, they sound like they're... Uh, you can, it sounds like footprint. Uh, footprints. It sounds like footsteps. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, use the uh, thief ring. Break up the demon tanto again. Now, we got uh, this bug as well that we got to deal with. There we go. Oh, one more. One more. There we go. There we go. These, these, these enemies are not... Uh, too, uh, too difficult to deal with. Do I really want racer plumes? Value of 20, though. Sure, why not? Shock resin. That's value of 50. Sure, I'll grab that, too. All right. The quest continues. Uh, it doesn't really look like this uh, leads us anywhere, um, toward that, uh, those ruins. It should look really cool. I don't think I've ever seen them really from that angle before. I don't know if I've been this way. Heck, we might uh, end up, uh, we end up, like, we might have gone uh, completely uh, the wrong way, and we might not even end up going to Saran. I'm, uh, so strange. I've spent, like, I I've said it before, I've spent so much time in this game, and, uh, but at the same time, it's been so long since I've, uh, been such a long time since I've actually played it, um, that, you know, some things that you know, I may have, uh, encountered before just seem very... Oh, okay. Seem very, um... Well, they not familiar to me. They're very different. Um... Let's, let's switch to the, the, the glass dagger. There we go. We've trapped a soul. A soul from a... A, 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 a wild guar. There we go. Is there something else? Oh, of course. Of course there would be a cliff racer as well. Why wouldn't there be? So we'll zap that a few times. And that's right, we still have our, um... Where is it? Our Ring of Wizard's Fire. Oh, wow. That worked. That worked better than I thought it would. Okay, cool. So yeah, I, you know, it's it's uh, areas that I may have been before that just don't look familiar anymore. Which is a really, cra a really great feeling. You know, sometimes I get a little bit, um... A little bit uh, frustrated. Like my my memory's not as bad as I make it out to be. Uh, like I'll, sometimes I'll just remember things like from from, from like decades ago with perfect clarity. Uh, but I've, part of uh, part of the uh, we'll say the illusion that my memory is so terrible uh, is uh, because of uh, you know as I mentioned uh, the ADD. That's that's not just a that's a joke. I'm I'm medicated for it, right? So. Um, and it's because my mind jumps all over the place. Sometimes I just don't commit things to memory. When when I actually sit down and I'm like, okay, I want to remember this, I typically am able to remember it. Um, but you know, because my mind does get scattered, and sometimes I don't fully, uh, you know, I don't fully, eh, you know, remember things. It's kind of great, especially when I want to revisit a game because I'm like, I don't remember any of this. It's like playing the game again for the first time. Um, okay, so the cliff race is going to attack us. We have a Quama Forager up ahead, which. Makes, it leads me to believe that this is a Quama mine, which it would be great if the eggs didn't uh, give, um, we'll say have a paralysis effect, because then I'd be like, sweet, we're going to make like a bunch of uh, restore fatigue potions, which I should be using because my, my fatigue is like perpetually garbage right now. It's about halfway, and that's probably why I'm missing uh, quite a bit. 
So we'll go, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take on this uh, on the forager. My short blade increased to 52. I like that I'm at the point now where um, the demon tanto is not an absolute necessity anymore. You know, I've my skills been built up. Uh, I can kind of just sort of fight things on my own. Let's see, what have we got here? Uh, Nisintu. All right, let's go ahead and see what's inside Nisintu. Uh, I suspect that you are a jerk of some sort. Most caves, when you go into them, you know, they, they don't tend to have the nicest people living out here. So I'm gonna come on over here and see if uh, my sneak can squeeze to 52. Sweet. Hi, guy, how's it going? Hello. I have you. Do you really? Don't mind me. Really? Is he, uh, is he gonna be hostile? I think he is. I I'm, I'm torn. He says he has me. Should I take preemptive action against him? Die. Oh yeah, I guess that's, uh, the character is in combat. All right. Unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate. No, you don't. Sorry, guy. Uh, Chitin Spear, he doesn't really have anything of interest. I did notice he had the, the one glove on. He had the right glove, and that was it. I thought that was kind of, uh, that was, that was kind of funny. Alright, so, uh, yeah, this, this doesn't look like it's gonna be that difficult of an area, but maybe it's not a, um, a Kwama mine. We, we, we will get to one of those eventually, but, uh, those are kind of cool. They got some uh, new enemies. They got larger versions of the, the Kwamas. Um... But this looks kind of like a bandit hideout. Uh, so let's go ahead and clear it out. They, they have no idea we're here because we're basically invisible at this point. Arr! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's a... Okay, it's already in effect. Okay, he's about to cast a spell. And I don't know if that spell is going to be coming for us. Um, Belt of Northern Nuck Nuck. I forgot about that one. Uh, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the... Um, where is it? Where's the, the belt? I had a belt, didn't I? Of Iron Whale. Ow. Whoa! Okay. Alright, you, you, you wanna play like that? Fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and use my Amulet of Frost. There is no escape. Ooh, he's, he's dishing out some damage. Luckily, because the spells don't stagger me, I can just totally counter them with my, uh... My, my, my Estus Flask amulet. All right, let's go ahead and uh, throw out the, uh, the Demon Tanto, which I already have, which is about to run out. I should've just... Ooh, crap, 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 come on. Switch to the thing! Seriously, guy, girl, lady, something, pull out your weapon, thank you. That fight w went really badly. That was a lot worse than it should've gone. All right, well, let's try that again. Let's try, let's say the next person here, uh, we're gonna just take care of them nice and uh, quickly. Your wounds are great. No, no, actually they're not, but yours soon will be. I have you. Oh, I critical strike you from the front. Excellent. All right, uh, they got some barrels down here. Let's go ahead and see what kind of uh, crap they've got. You know, maybe we'll get some stuff that we can, uh, I don't know, like create some, some cool potions with a uh, steel die katana. I almost want to grab that thing just for the just the cool factor of it. Um, what is it? The the scroll of uh, figgies, uh, figgies, yeah, gem feeder. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, large quama egg. Nah, I'm not crazy about those quama eggs. Uh, another scroll of uh, Unduci's unhinging. Perfect. I'm not crazy about Sujama. Grab uh, the gold, a common soul gem, which is, uh, which is, uh, pretty good. A dire shard bolt ring. Uh, so that will allow us to shoot lightning. That's a little bit more effective than the taser. That's cool. Oh, wow. We were getting some, some cool items here. We're getting some, uh, scrolls. We got another thief ring. Sweet. Uh, what else here? We got some really cool stuff in here. I'm glad we came in here. A uh, cheap restore willpower. Why not? We'll grab it. Um, awesome. So nothing down here, but uh, there's still more to the cave, and there's still this little chest here that's trapped. Lock level 17, that's kind of strange. I, I don't recall ever seeing a, um, a, a lock with that kind of number. Normally it's, you know, like, a, a, a numeral of 50, or 5, sorry. Um, 
So that's it's kind of interesting that it's out of 17. All right, we'll go ahead and pick the lock. Oh, come on. You can do this. I was going to say, don't use up the lock pick. Come on. 154 gold. That's pretty worth it. And that's just paper. We don't need we don't need to pick up the paper. We got a bedroll. Uh, what have we got in here in this urn? We've got some scuttle. Ooh, which will allow us to restore fatigue. Sweet. We can go ahead and use that to make a potion. All right. Let's continue on into the uh the the dungeon. Gold, another a, a life stone. Fortify health, fortify health 5 to 20 points for 30 seconds on self. That's kind of cool. I like that. What I can do is uh, fortify health and then use my Estus thing to top myself up. That'll give me a little bit extra health. Um, should I need it? Okay, this actually looks cool. We're going to explore the rest of this. Uh, actually, unfortunately, next time because I am out of time. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. If you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, though, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.